today I will be taking you through the Epic modules. Um, so as I mentioned in my last video, <clears throat> there are many Epic modules within Epic which uh, helps with um, the creation of teams and assigning uh, tasks for specific teams. So this is the ASAP module. This one deals with uh, inpatient uh, patients, so people that have been admitted to the hospital. Uh, ambulatory is the one where you know patients make appointments and then they come in for like a doctor's visit and things like that. That's ambulatory. Beacon oncology is, as it says the name here, is uh, oncology. So anything to do with uh, oncology will be falling under Epic Beacon. Buxby is infection control. And this one is just, I'm not very familiar with this, but it says it's, it provides tools to monitor patients that have a risk of infection, identifies patients needing isolation with antimicrobial processes, helps with reporting infections to regulatory registries and other entities. Okay. Uh, so it integrates with Beaker. Epic Beaker has to do with labs, uh, anything to do with like pregnancy tests. you uh, in charge of connections from outside systems to Epic. It uses HL7 uh, interfaces and I believe this is the more technical um, application or module. Uh, so if you're very uh, into, you know, uh, APIs and things like that, this this would be very rewarding for you and I feel like you can easily transition into this since there's little to no clinical experience for this. Bones has to do with orthopedics, sports medicine. I think I mentioned that in my last video already. Epic Caboodle is a data warehouse. Um, so very analytical. Um, you know, uh, you can uh, query data here. You can kind of think of it like a SQL. Uh, Cadence is the scheduling module for outpatient specialty clinics. So inpatient, they don't use Cadence, only outpatient uh, and specialty. And Epic Care Companion, I'm not sure what this is. An extension to the MyChart Patient Portal. Health Coaching Education. So I haven't heard of this one yet. Um, so maybe we can look into that. If we're uh, interested in that module. Epic Care Everywhere is, I, I've heard about this when I was teaching at George Washington uh, as a trainer. Uh, so Epic Care Everywhere allows for EHR data, so patient's data to be sent from one organization to another organization seamlessly without, well, you will have to ask for the patient consent on the receiving end where they just sign their name uh, and then they state that, you know, they, that the data can be transferred to one another. So uh, if you guys are not familiar with the hospital, what you usually have to do is you have to go to the health information management department, sign a uh, consent form, and then they, the HIM department then processes that uh, paper form usually. I think there's virtual, I mean, there's online form that too. They, they take that form and then they either fax it to, um, to the other facility that they want to get the health information from then that facility then receives it to the health information management department and that department goes out um, and either like emails or sends a message through their EHR to the specialty or whatever whatever information they need and then that's sent back um, to the health information management department which then sends it back to the specialty uh, like um, family practice or internal medicine from and from there they can finally see uh, that you know health information uh, that the patient was asking for from this other um, facility or um, sorry other organization so what epic care everywhere does is it makes that seamlessly where it's like I'm the provider I'm Look, I'm with you. With I'm with the patient at the moment, and then I, there's I, I see a little um, thing saying that this patient has been seen at another Epic facility. Like it, it can be outside of the organization, and you click on it, then uh, it asks you for like the patient signature if they consent. Uh, you press yes since they're right with you. Uh, like the patient's right in your office, and then that information, boom goes back to the 
organization asks for instantly. It literally takes minute, maybe like a minute or so. Uh, but all the data that you're looking for, like labs, radiology, imaging, uh, reports, things like that, it, it just does it very, very fast. So this is, I think this is going to be big in the future. Uh, like I said, it doesn't have to be, you know, from this, uh, the same organization. It can be any organization. Uh, the only thing that is, it has to run Epic. So that's the only <laughs> downside, I guess, of it. Um, Epic Compass Rose. I haven't heard about this, but it's, it's, it's okay. So these are extensions. That's probably why I haven't heard about it. Um, so this is extension to Healthy Planet, which is their health uh, population management uh, module. Uh, uh, this is pretty cool too. I uh, would like to learn more about that. Epic Cosmos is an artificial intelligence tool that works with collect bills and clinical data points for Epic organizations to help providers answer clinical questions. So I guess you can think think about this like, uh, like a mini Google of just uh, clinical data. Uh, you ask it and then it collects it and gives it to you. Uh, Chronicles is the main database which runs uh, much of Epic software. Um, so this, yeah, Chronicles is it's huge because it's pretty much like the backbone of, of all of these modules. It runs off Chronicles. Epic Clarity, uh, I believe this is uh, like reporting and analysis, things like that. You can create uh, complex reports. So this would be used maybe like uh, by a business analysts, uh, things like that. Epic Care Clean Doc, so this is the inpatient one. Huh. Okay, so this is, I'm not sure if, but this should be the, okay, so Epic Clean Doc, Inpatient, this is the Epic module for inpatients, uh, and yeah, so this is for patients in hospitals, so there are patients that have been admitted uh, to hospitals, and you can do many of these features inside this module, so take clinical notes, orders, medication, Administration, uh, patient monitoring, discharge orders, things like that can be done through uh, Epic Care Clinic. Epic Co Cohero is another. It's, well, it's a complete suite of uh, of Epic reporting tools. Um, so yeah, that's more about more for data analysis. If you're a data analyst, you can easily transfer into this. Okay, so Epic Community Connect is uh, allows for a large health organization to sublet quotation marks to epic system to small organizations that have feet. Um, so let's say a big organization uh, acquires a smaller one and in the meantime they don't want to fully integrate with their own epic system they can just uh, pay for this epic community connect and they'll have access to epic as well which will be like a it wouldn't be the full access but yeah Epic Cupid. So this is the one I'm certified in. Uh, so it's for cardiology, like I mentioned. Um, it, it integrates or interfaces with external EKG devices to bring the EKG reading to the medical record. There's many other things that it can interface to um, using HL7 or DICOM messages uh, for imaging in this case. <coughs> it's pretty interesting actually. It's good. Um, Epic Data Courier. So Epic Data Courier is used to uh, move items or move builds from uh, the proof of concept, right? Uh, which, uh, if you're familiar with um, applications and like software engineering or stuff like that, uh, you usually build out what you're trying to um, create for production in a lower environment. Uh, most of the times it's like the, the same data is replicated into many environments. Uh, so POC is the lowest environment. That's where you will build your proof of concept, right? So make sure it works, whatever you're building, it's working. That's what you do there. Then it can go to a different environment, which is the test environment. Uh, you test there it's, uh, and then it's way, it's more, the, the higher up, the, 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 I guess the more recent data there is. Uh, and you can kind of uh, test it uh, with better data, I want to say better data. Uh, production is you know, what everyone's using. Uh, so it would be like uh, in an iPhone, like if you are building, up, like updating the software, you're not going to do that in production right away, right? Because if you mess up, 
uh, everyone's gonna gonna see those um, changes and you know it might be hazardous so you might break something uh, in the software so you will do that in the lower environment uh, that's epic data courier uh, so this everyone everyone has access to this I believe like all the mo other modules this is what you use to move your build up to the uh, production environment epic financial assistant module I think it's self-explanatory what it says on the on there. Epic happy together. So happy together enables patients to see the clinical data from multiple locations so in one my chart session. Okay, so that might be the difference between this and um, the other one I talked about. Um, care everywhere. So my chart is uh, the patient facing facing um, module, uh, so Epic's patient facing uh, EHR, I guess you can say, or PHR personal health record. Um, that's what uh, my chart means. Epic Home Health, uh, the Rothy, I think it's pronounced. It's a uh, home health setting, uh, you know, for visit, visiting caregivers. There's nurse aides, PTOT, document uh, care done in patient's home. So this is, you know, when these clinical um, providers go to patient's home and treat them there, take care of them. Epic Hyperspace, this is not a clin clinical module. This is the actual, um, I guess the client, the actual client where you're working with. Um, so everyone works in Epic Hyperspace. So all, all these modules are within Epic Hyperspace. So right here, uh, so this is, it says Epic Hyperspace configured to display different menus, tasks, options to users depending on their specific roles. For example, a pharmacist will be presented with many medication related options, while the family practice physician will be presented with options to document clinical visits, place orders. So yeah, so it's uh, like it's saying here, it's based on the roles of who is signing in to Epic. So as a pharmacist, I'm not gonna see the, my epic, uh, you know, the way it looks, the same as someone that's, um, you know, registering a patient. It's going to be different because we all need different tools based on our job role. So, yeah. So that's how Epic. Uh, that's what Epic Hyperspace is. It's just how, pretty much how you view Epic, uh, wherever you are. Epic Haiku is the app. Uh, Android is, is an Android Apple app that allows doctors. Um, the limited version of Epic Care Ambulatory. Uh, Epic Healthy Planet is the population management uh, system they use to help deliver, uh, deliver better care for a given population of patients. Uh, was established voluntarily in, uh, in uh, sorry, which established voluntary voluntary entities called Accountable Care Organizations, so ACOs. Uh, so yeah, they're in charge of. Um, creating better health outcomes for patients who are enrolled in these uh, accountable care organizations. Right, Epic Lumens is for endoscopy. Um, endoscopy is, um, they're, they're like a imaging subset, a subset of imaging of like kind of like radiology where you can look into, so you put a camera inside um, a tube and then you put it down the esophagus, uh, and then you can look at, you know, the internal. So the person, like, it's not uh, radiology, but it's images. So it's actual like pixel images. Uh, so that's what Lumens is. Healthy Planet Link. Uh, so web-based portal to see patient information for Epic systems of a larger organization. Uh, this I'm not sure what this is, but it looks like it links to health organizations logging to the web-based portal to see patient information. Okay. Epic Kaleidoscope, this is what I mentioned yesterday, is for, is for ophthalmology, for eye care. Uh, Epic Care Link. Okay, so this connects with uh, physicians, community physicians who do not have Epic. Uh, 
you know, so it gives the Epic Link, Epic Hair Link, provide, um, allows those providers to have a web-based portal allowing them to have limited use of the uh, of Epic. Epic Lucy is not a module; it's a concept of allowing patients to download and print their medical record in a usable format. Okay. Epic My Chart is the P, uh, the personal health record, uh, the one the patients see uh, if they want to see if, uh, if their labs, if the results of their labs, or uh, or they can even schedule exams from their certain exams from their you know from their phone or a computer. Uh, you log into My Chart and then you make your appointments, and things like that. That's what My Chart is. My, Ch My Chart bedside is similar where you can uh, a patient that's admitted to the hospital might need to sign some forms uh, so they will use uh, my chart bedside uh, then they will fill out the forms there epic open scheduling so this allows organizations to publish a web url that allows anyone to enter a request to be seen the my chart account is not needed Okay, so this is for scheduling. Uh, if a patient doesn't have my chart access, you, know, you can send them a URL. They can still um, you know, send. So this link still. Uh, sorry, this link sends scheduling information back to Epic to to, to schedule these patients. Epic Op Time is operating room surgery module in Epic. So if you have experience as a as a, what is it called? Um, yeah. Operating room technician, things like that. This might be a fit for you. Um, this one's, I wanna say, is one of the hardest ones to understand in Epic, um, but it is very rewarding uh, once you get it. Pedigree is a module to capture and analyze genetic information. Clinicians can build a family tree, manage family history. So um, this might be uh, had to do with ge genetically related conditions. Epic Phoenix is a module that supports organ transplants. Oh, Prelude is the ADT patient registration. So admission, discharge, transfer, that is all done through Epic Prelude. Uh, so yeah, so this module covers the hospital registration, insurance functions, ABT. This also referred to Grand Central. Epic Radar. I'm not sure what this is, honestly. I haven't heard of this one. Epic Radiant is a radiology module that I mentioned about. Um, it provides documentation, film tracking, view of radiology images. Uh, like I mentioned last time, they don't have their own um, uh, reading software. So what they do is just that the storage of the images is stored in a DICOM based uh, software. So Epic does not run on DICOM, so they don't store the images, but you can still view them. Uh, and, and although the images are read, uh, in the, like a third-party app, um, that information is still sent back to Epic, and the doctors can read that information. Uh, sorry, yeah, other doctors can view what the other doctor you know read or said uh, on their notes. Slicer Dicer is a visual reporting tool within Epic that allows non-technical users to easily create clinical reports. Epic Sonnet is a stripped down version of the main app, uh, Clip application that is aimed at smaller organizations that cannot afford or don't fully need the full feature version. <laughs> I don't know about that, that's pretty cool. Reporting Workbench is an application side reporting solution which allows IT analysts to create and manage reports on the date for most part of the system. So more reporting, um, data analysis, and Epic Rover is a module that uses mo mobile devices to allow inpatient nursing staff to do review and documentation tasks. So, if you see, if you go to a hospital or organization where um, you see, you know, nurses or yeah, nurses with iPads, uh, they probably are running Epic Rover on that. 
Stork is the OBGYN um, module. So obstetrics, gynecology, uh, this is the outpatient side of course. Uh, Epic Tapestry is managed care administration, enabling uh, organizations to enroll members, bill for insurance premiums, process referrals, and pay claims. It works within several different payment structures such as ACOs and various other health plans. Epic User Web is not a product used by clinicians, but it's a web portal used by customers with Epic. So this is, uh, we use this a lot, Epic User Web. So on here, if, uh, if we don't uh, know the answer to something or uh, something breaks and we don't know how to fix it, we can call out for help using uh, Sherlock, which is one of, which is a tab within uh, Epic User Web. And then there, someone that actually works at Epic you know, knows the code can help you out on how to fix something. Wow, uh, Epic Welcome Kiosk. This allows patients to check in appointment. Oh, so this, yeah, so this is the kiosk. Uh, some hospitals have already implemented this where patients can check, check in in the kiosk, sign documents, pay for co-pays, per receipt. So this might be big in the future uh, since I believe we're moving towards um, like automated machines doing registering and things like that. Um, so this is pretty interesting. Epic Willow is the module for uh, pharmacy. So anything to do with medications goes through the Epic Willow uh, application. Uh, Epic Wisdom is for dentists actually. The dental hygienist has to do with teeth. So yeah. Uh, if you want to look at more into these uh, modules, uh, I'm going to share the link with you guys. And if you are still watching, um, I would appreciate if you subscribe if you're still watching. I will come up with, uh, I'm trying to do two videos a week, but I'm definitely going to do one video a week. Um, starting this week pretty much. Um, so yeah, thank you everyone. And Hope you guys have a good one. Bye-bye.